Hello everybody and welcome back to my career playthrough in Coral Space program. Today we're going to launch that weird little contraption that I've shown you in my previous video and we're going to try and save our super monster thingy that's already on the moon. What I want to do is uh, to launch this in such a way that we get directly to the moon without having to do an uh, orbit around Kerbin. So basically the moon should be somewhere to the east of your launch site. And here we go. Yeah, the rocket is struggling a bit with its uh, thrust to weight ratio. Uh, one of the reasons uh, for that is that I haul a lot of fuel with me that I'm going to need for the return burn. Because I want to land this booster. Yes, this is sort of a SpaceX style mission. Oopsie, that's the wrong direction. Yeah, we don't want to go in a retrograde orbit. Nope, not today. As you can see here on the right hand side of my screen, I have a few kerbals on board because I brought a science lab and I want to try to use the moon to get some science results done. Okay, this is the landing strip down there. I'm not sure we're going to make it back there. Pretty sure we we won't. Okay, here we go. Releasing the fairing and launching our second stage. Yeah. Okay, that second stage, uh, the first stage is now falling back, which is okay. That has always been the plan. But I'm going to use the FMRS mod to get back to it later. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to break out of the atmosphere. That should not be the problem. Problem might be getting to the moon. I really hope it won't be. And we're out of fuel unless we release the fuel in this tank. Why do I do that? Because that was actually my reserve planned for the return burn. Um, pretty sure I'm not going to need everything in there. Ah, that's cutting it really close. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Okay, let's jump back to our booster. Okay, we're at the separation. Back at the separation and we're now releasing our, our reserve tank, our reserve fuel. And what I'm trying to aim for is to have that red X move towards um, move towards where my green uh, marker is. There we go. Okay. So basically, my landing prediction is where my connection with the remote control center is, which is uh, the space center. And I really hope that we actually land there. Okay, um, let's try to get this in the retrograde orientation and see whether or not we land at least even close to the space center. Okay, next thing we want to engage are the parachutes, but we're coming in really hot. Still 80 meters per second of delta V left. I want those parachutes to fire. Okay, please fire as well. Yeah, there we go. And we're now at a comfortable 25, 24 meters per second of, uh, meters per second of velocity. Let's try to engage the new landing gear. Yep. Whoops, that was not what I intended. Yeah! <laughs> well, 
Well, the landing gear is still fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe we should try this again. I really hope this time I'm going to come in uh, above land. <laughs> I'm not even too far away from uh, landing at the base. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Okay, 25 uh, kilometers, uh, not 2.5 kilometers above ground. Firing all the parachutes. Yeah, yeah, slowing down, slowing down really hard. Okay, engaging the gear. And we're at 300 meters. 200. 100. Oh my. Well, something... Something exploded. What was the thing that was exploded? Yeah, I kind of messed up that uh, landing burn. Hmm. Okay. I can do better than that. Again! Everything fine so far. Slow down significantly. Firing that uh, landing gear. Everything fine. And yeah, let's hope for the best. I want to aim here. So see when the ground is coming up. 100 meters impact in two seconds. No, 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 no. Okay, the landing gear was apparently not strong enough to support the weight of all of this. But hey! <laughs> we recovered our booster! Yay! I'm actually kind of proud of that. Even though we're sliding? Are we sliding? We're sliding even faster? 0.8 meters per second? Come on, please don't. No, 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 no. Let's try to jump back to the main mission and see what happens, shall we? Okay, it says recovered. Good. Let's hope that not just something the game writes, but also does. We are now going to separate the fairing. Did something break? No. This sounded... That that fairing separation sounded really weird. Okay, let's get rid of that. We're controlling it from here. And we're going to fly to the moon from here on out. Oh, I didn't use... <laughs> I just remembered, I actually, I think I had air brakes on, on the main booster, but for some reason I did not use them. Yeah. Okay, focus on the moon. See where this leads us. Yeah, 10 kilometers above the moon's surface should be enough to make some fine uh, orbit in the end. And let's fire her up. Wow! A five minute burn? Really? Okay, I kind of estimated this really wrong. I thought this would be not as long. Hmm. So not sure how that's going to work out in the end, but yeah, I'm kind of hopeful that it will work out. Okay. Wow. 38 meters per second left uh, for this and 1600 in total. Let's try to recover our second stage, because that's also something I wanted to do. Where are you? There you are. We are now going to try to land you. And I actually want to try to land this somewhere where I can actually see something. Hello, son. Nice to see you. Let's try to make a full recovery mission here. And this is getting hot. So, I like to keep this below 1300. Yeah. No more glowy stuff. Or glowy stuff, I mean, it's still glowing, but... Uh, heating up by plasma, rather. 
Um, but it does not look like it's going to overheat anytime soon. Okay, drug shoots deployed. Main shoots deployed. Landing gear deployed. Okay, just slowed down the time accelerations for the shoots to open. I mean, they fixed that issue long ago, but I'm still kind of skeptical because, yeah, that caused a lot of grief in previous Kerbal Space Program versions when you had physical time acceleration activated and activated the parachutes, then everything went to crap, basically. And... Yeah, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Let's keep this low enough and slow enough. Okay, that's good. Let's jump back to the main mission, as FMRS tells us. And we have recovered our second stage. Nice, very, very nice. Okay, we control still from that arm here. And now I want to engage these solar panels, because it's quite a bit until we uh, reach the moon. And therefore, we don't want to lose any electricity charge that we have. Seems to be a graphics glitch with my clouds mod and or scatterer, but that's now gone. <laughs> so are the clouds. Hmm. We are now in the moon's sphere of influence. 123. And let's see whether or not we manage to do that. Okay, moving forward to my maneuver node. We only have 38 meters per second left of delta V. What we're going to need to do is, uh, first of all, fire this one. <laughs> and once we've done that, yeah, we have now the need to separate. Let's activate some lights that we can actually see something. We need to separate this now. I said separate. There we go. And now, are we controlling from here? Yeah, I already, I already uh, used an action group to do so, but still. How much time are we going to need to perform that burn? Oh, only 20 seconds. So these engines are way more powerful than the transfer stages. Which is uh, unsurprising, since we have uh, to land this entire assembly on the moon. And what I want to do is just wait, even though I have the maneuver node, I just want to wait until I am captured. I really want this orbit to be as uh, high as possible in regards to the apps, so I'll have uh, a less difficult time, yeah, to get the plane change done to get to this little thing. Okay, why do I want this in the polar orbit? So that we can actually get close to this little ship here. The node is in four hours and there is nothing we have to do until then. So let's once again move over to our maneuver node. We no longer need the lights, we are in sunlight. And those of you who know a bit about space will know that sunlight in space is a lot brighter than on Earth because, yeah, the atmosphere is not filtering out the UV rays and all the photons that are coming in from our sun. If you remember, if, if you've watched the SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch, People were discussing how sort of surreal or unreal um, the Tesla Roadster on its pedestal looked like with the Starman inside. Because the lighting was so harsh and so unreal, so to speak. Uh, those of you who already know how things in space look like were not really surprised. But yeah, a lot of people didn't expect that. Because they have not looked at a lot of pictures from space, apparently. Yeah, and of course, the allegations that this was just CGI came in like the Amen in a prayer. And stop. And we want to go here and circularize. And once we've circularized, then we're going to 
be able to land this thing. Yeah, I really hope this works. I really hope we can uh, get enough fuel into that super monster vehicle that we can get it off and deliver the science that we have generated there and deliver that science back to Kerbin. Okay, we should have enough Delta V to make a safe landing. I really want to get close to that stranded vehicle so I can get it back to Kerbin. Oh, by the way, look here. I managed to orient my moon communication satellites correctly. So now we have a really nice triangle shape. <laughs> Due to this thing, we also have some sort of tetraeda going on. So where was I? Yeah, let's continue with this mission here. I really want to be almost above it. You know what I mean? This could do the trick. Okay, you little crawler thingy, get the job done, will you? Now things are going to get interesting. Will I be able to land this close enough to the super monster so we have some meaningful exchange with it? Going to look at this from the map view. I mean, it would be cool to have like communications lines pointing there. Uh, and... Stop. Oh, somebody told me uh, I can use the trajectories mod to have like target uh, overlay. Do I also have that overlay in the real world view? I mean, this is great for me to do this while I'm, while I'm trying to work on it. Okay, what I'm going to do is cancel out most of my horizontal velocity. Yeah, that's the current impact. What I want to do is have this sort of above my target. What's going on here? Is this already empty? Yeah, then why aren't we already firing? There we go. Okay, we're still a bit away from the targeted vessel, but that does not matter because we still want to get really closely above it. Yeah, in flight. There we go. Ah, that's what I was looking for. Haha. <laughs> Nice. Trajectories mod. That's a really, really cool thing. Okay, the red marker is now directly above the green marker. And this should in theory mean that we're going to land on it. Let's see if that's the case, shall we? Something exploded. Ah, that was probably my, uh, the stage that I just separated. Coming in hot and close. Nice trajectories mod. I really like what you're doing. I really like what you're doing. Now we're gonna have to slow down a bit. Nope, 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 wrong direction. Okay, this is tense. Okay, 255 meters per second of delta V. Okay, trajectories mod, I love you, but yeah, that was now way too much information. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we are really close. And we've landed! Haha, -ha, would you look at that? That's what I call real precision landing. We're just 14 meters away from our target. Nice! Okay, now to a bit of a dangerous part, because I want to separate uh, this stage here. Let's save this. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to increase my throttle until it's... no, nope, not above one. And fire. Yeah! Okay, you're now uncontrollable. Doesn't matter. You did not destroy anything. Which is a good thing. You can fly away and die somewhere on the moon. And the textures are all behaving weirdly. Boom, we got some debris over there. What we want to do now, of course, is feed the rocket over there. In order to do that, we need to get our claw. And then, hopefully... 
Hopefully not destroyed anything. I mean, are the wheels broken? Ah, the wheels look broken. Oh, well, that's why we have an engineer on board, don't we? Yeah, hello, Ducas, 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 Ducas. Duca, maybe the French would say. And you're gonna repair this. No! <laughs> Oh, why don't you have the skill level necessary to do this, you dumb little kerbal? Why do I need skill level 3 to change a tire, basically? I'm not sure if I really want you back inside, because you don't offer me anything. Okay, I mean, we, I mean, we're close enough that even with broken wheels, we'll probably be able to dock this together. Hopefully. There we go. Can we actually move? So, even though we've touched down with just one meter per second of delta V, so we, we were really, really soft in our landing, and it still didn't work out. I mean, come on, that's stupid. I mean, I know these wheels are not that great, but I've tested it on Kerbin and it was driving on Kerbin with Kerbin's gravity without any of these wheels exploding. Uh, exploding, getting broken. Okay, let's try something different. I want to slide towards the claw. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to slide this towards the claw and try to hit it. And... If that works, this will be so stupid, but yeah, fun anyways. Oops, no, 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 no. We're going to make tiny hops towards, uh, towards my target. Pretty sure uh, not a lot of people have tried docking on the surface like that. <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's switch back. Nope. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. That, that jumpy Kraken is so annoying. I mean, why does this even happen? But hey, I could use that and I don't need any propulsion to actually perform my slippy slidey maneuver. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> it worked! It totally worked. This is so stupid, but it worked. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Fuel moving in. Okay, there's a world first. What was that all about? Yeah, don't click anywhere else while the fuel tries to transfer. Otherwise, it stops transferring. Even though it does not really make sense. Because why can't this work while I click somewhere else and only if I click on stop? Yeah, I think I need to stop trying to find any logical thoughts behind Kerbal Space Program because, yeah, it's just a game and, yeah. Okay, we have done that. We want to release the released Kraken. No, released Claw. Okay, get this done. Okay, what, what happened here? Okay, we explored the moon. Thank you. It's like a vessel handshake with minimal shaking and no hands. Congratulations. Contract parameter complete. World first. Structing the first outpost. Yes, yeah, stocking maneuver and outpost. Okay. We've got that one. We have got the surface contract with 195,000, which is good. Okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now, let's try to get this thing into orbit. Yeah, but we're going to see whether or not that will be enough the next time when we once again enter the Shadow Zone. 
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.